There is one mistake that you're probably making when you do reality checks, and it's more important, more kind of annoying, and it will hold you back more than any other mistake you could be making. So if you're trying to lucid dream, then this is probably a mistake you're making. Firstly, as always, check out my massive YouTube video about how to lucid dream. The link's in the description. It might be in the pinned comment. Okay, so what is this mistake? If you're doing reality checks, the chances are you know that you need to be questioning your reality and kind of testing, basically, whether you're dreaming or not. This is the problem. What a lot of people do is that when they do their reality check, instead of questioning whether it's a dream and testing that, what they do is they kind of visualize or imagine that it's a dream. And this is a very big problem because if you imagine that it's a dream, you're not really testing it. So you're not using your logical, critical, uh, analytical mind. What you're doing is you're using more of your creative side, which is not necessarily bad, but what it means is you're, in, you're pretending basically that it's a dream and that won't get you lucid. That will actually never pretty much work. So what you need to do is that when you do your reality check, you really need to be questioning whether it's a re whether this is reality or a dream. And this is how you get the reality check to actually make you lucid. You need to test it. You need to come at it with the approach of what if I'm wrong? You need to almost pretend that you honestly don't know whether this is a dream or reality. And then when you do that, the reality test, which ideally should be either the finger palm push or the nose pinch, will confirm your, you know, whether this is a dream or not. It will confirm that for you. It will test that. But yeah, what a lot of people do is instead of imagine, instead of asking and testing whether it's a dream, they will imagine that it's a dream. And this is mainly because they maybe get too excited or they you know, just going through the motions or whatever, and they just think, oh, what would I do if I, if it was a dream? That's not really what you're doing. The whole point of reality checks is to make the idea of testing and questioning your reality cross over into your dream, so you actually do it when you're dreaming, and then it makes you lucid. So this is a very common mistake. I would love to hear if, if you're making this mistake, if you haven't been able to get your reality checks to work, and this is also something that I talk about a lot in my uh, reality checks manual, um, which I don't really, you know, I don't really talk about that much anymore, but um, it's all been kind of rolled up into my Lucid Breakthrough course, which explains in detail how to get how to get your reality checks to actually work. Anyway, there's a big free video here on YouTube telling you how to Lucid Dream, going through all of this, you know, these details. Um, the link is in the description.